So this is an interesting article rather than a research paper, but it definitely got my attention. It's called All Major Gen AI Models Vulnerable to Policy Puppetry Prompt Injec Injection Attack. And it's a new attack technique named Policy Puppetry, which can break the projections and protections of major Gen AI models to produce harmful outputs. And their method is very and fairly straightforward overall. It just involves essentially like role playing and prompt injection with the model. Uh, and then so uh, that's the bottom line of the method overall. <laughs> There's not a lot more to, to say with regards towards the method to me. I think to a lot of people, they're surprised, shocked, like, uh, you know, how could models be released that are like this, etc. I, I mean, I've been saying these things from the beginning, right? Like, I lose so much money and so much business uh, from uh, talking about these things from a realistic standpoint and a realistic perspective. And it's like, because um, it's all it's counter to the dominant narrative when it comes to these things, right? When I, you know, if you come to me as a business, my very first thing that I will tell you is that 100%, there's no way to make your LM model like um, safe and not vulnerable, right? If you're exposing it publicly, like if you are exposing that LM model, there is no way 100% that I can secure it. And if you give me access to the back end of that model, there's no way 100% that you can know that I haven't tampered with it. And it's just the bottom line, right? Like, I think it's very important and explicit to, to mention those things up front because there's like, uh, no one else is going to. And then um, the AI model isn't responsible for any failures that occur within that, right? Someone is going to be, uh, the finger is going to point somewhere. And then like, I, I assume like to me, the first finger that's going to be pointed to is the, the person that installs it and, and that set it up, right? And then so uh, I want that to be like the very, if that ever happens or I'm ever in that situation, I, I always want to be in a situation where I've been like very explicit, right? Like I, I said these things from jump, like um, I just did what I was, you know, like, here's what it is. I laid out these security concerns 100%. I laid them out. They were known. Uh, there's no questions whatsoever that like it, this wasn't explicitly stated. Um, and then they decided to implement it. And then that's their consequence then, right? It's kind of how I look at that equation and, and the bottom line of this. And then so Again, reiterating, like, why I, I, there is no instance where I can promise any corporation, any company whatsoever, and no one can that uh, they can give you a 100% secure model uh, th that is like actually like publicly exposed in any way, right? There's ways, and, and you can build out a whole bunch of like, uh, frameworks around it and and surrounding it and guardrails around it, etc. Um, and then so you can do those things and and and. Um, all of the model manufacturers have right but the 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 uh, problems lie within that within the model itself right and that's a problem that you can't avoid you can't escape that <laughs> overall there's nothing uh no getting around that particular equation and then even if you are safeguarding the model from the beginning, right? Again, going back to something else that I said at the top here is that like there's, I can't guarantee you and I can't promise you, there's nothing that I can do to promise you that uh, there's no way to tamper with the, or not tamper with the back end of the model with access to it. And the most like common thing that, that could be done within that would be um, an attack like this, right? This policy puppetry attack, but can be very done, very easily done for the back end of a model. I think probably a lot of people don't know, that, but it's super easy, right? Where essentially if I fine tune the model and then I fine tune the model on a, uh, let's say like an explicit data set or like something that's like, I look at it like if you're familiar with the, it's a, a older movie now, it's called the, the mentoring candidate. Um, like those are like that, that you 100% could create an LM model. That's a mentoring candidate, right? That, and like, essentially it would be like, um, it would operate normally and then, um, no, like, no, nothing would be detected. But then if I type in supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, all of a sudden the model is going to become like a spy <laughs> and, and then, and it would like uh, snap from there. And then like, that's the keyword, right? But if I don't, if no one ever types in the keyword, then the model is just going to operate like a normal LLM model and it's going to go through. But if you type in very explicit instructions, that's going to like be the, the, the trigger for the model. There's nothing whatsoever, zero uh, like way to to get around that 
in the status quo that that currently exists, right? Like I think like people don't understand that. Like they they I think a lot of people they expect like uh, well like companies, corporations, people wouldn't put these things out if there were security risks and security vulnerabilities. Here we are. People have put them out, put these models out. Here's the security vulnerabilities. Can't tell you enough. Like here they 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 keep coming out over and over again. Why would they? Why did they put them out with these security vulnerabilities? Money? I don't know. <laughs> like uh, that's you know money is generally. The, the reason why uh, it, it, what it, what it boils down to it, it's not like a harder equation than them um, and so this is kind of the the situation that we're dealing with uh, in these and with these things overall like people do not and and especially corporations are not taking uh, to, like security of these things uh, like highly enough and and with enough like consequence like to me like it's it's interesting like uh the other like piece of news that i saw today uh was that there's a like a, a very small uh agent package that has been released it's like 50 lines of code that like you can give one of these models complete control of your computer right that's the worst thing that i could ever imagine and the very first thing i thought of when i saw this article was like uh, everyone that's talking about those things right imagine giving this model that has that can do anything and, and can be manipulated via a policy puppetry uh, prompt injection attack. It has a full access to your computer, and then all of a sudden, it, 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 it's doing whatever you want, right? But then uh, it's going to town with a, a, a and it's uh, jailbroken and, and, and uh, working against you as an agent, right? And then uh, like that's how the models could operate, and there's no protections against that in the status quo, right? There's nothing like uh, making that science fiction, um, and you can see it's it's more more and more reality with regards towards these things, right? Just highlighting them. Like I like, uh, we have taken like a hundred steps back with regards towards like overall computer security, network security. Uh, it's kind of crazy overall to me, the world that we're living and operating in within these things that people aren't asking these, but like people are just like a flat out ignoring this overall. I don't know. Like, 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 like there's going to be consequences for ignoring these things. Um, I, I can't highlight these things enough. And then so here it is. All major Gen AI models vulnerable to policy puppetry prompt injection attack. Again, all. ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, all. All is all, right? All equals all. Um, and then so there you go. Uh, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.